Hey everybody, welcome to the Hot Tag of Your Girl Izzy. Today I am here with Mick Foley. How are you? I'm doing great. How long has it been since I've seen you? A long time, I think. That's right? A few years, and I'm so glad. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> you, like uh, a lot of us, have grown up with you, right? Or you grew up with us, and now here you are. You have got your own show. Are you still training? I am still training. I have a gym in my garage. I'm doing kickboxing and BJJ. We're loving it. We're living it up. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. So I'm so happy to talk to you. Yeah, I'm so happy to talk to you. It's such an honor to finally have you on the show. Now, we're going to talk about some WrestleCade today. I got to ask you, what is the oddest thing that you have signed in your whole career? In my whole career? my uh, yeah. I, uh, This is... a. Uh, uh, it seemed strange in the late 90s to sign a couple of prosthetic limbs, but then, you know, obviously we, uh, you know, we sent our men and women uh, in harm's way, and I probably ended up signing a few hundred of them. But at that time, in the late 90s, the first, a woman sat, I was at a Kowloon restaurant in Massachusetts, said, would you sign something for me? I said, sure, and all of a sudden, <laughs> And she threw her leg up on the thing. I was like, well, there you go. So I've had a few odd things, but that's the one that strikes me now. Well, that's definitely an interesting story. I have never seen that before. Now, with the new year approaching 2022, we're very exciting. Are there any goals for you? What are you looking forward to? Tell the fans what you have in plan. Well, I, uh, I, I worked so hard, Izzy, to drop that weight. And then that pen, in uh, interest of full disclosure, I was putting on weight before the pandemic. But then I took it on myself to keep 10 to 12 local eateries in business with my deliveries. And uh, now that things are shaping up, I better shape up too. That's one goal. And also, Izzy, one of the things I'm doing is uh, I committed to uh, funding a small school in Kenya. And uh, so I'm really excited. I'll make my first one quarter of the donation in the next week or so, and I'll be providing fans with uh, updates. I know a lot of the fans don't care, but some of them do. And uh, I mean, it's the easiest thing in the world, just scroll past something that doesn't interest you. But uh, I'm excited about it. It's been quite a while since I funded a major project like that. And uh, I will be uh, providing people with updates. I absolutely love that. I'm so looking forward to that. Now, finally, your favorite time of year is coming up, Christmas. And we all know that you kind of rule Christmas in a way. What's on your wish list this year, or Christmas list, I should say? Peace on earth, goodwill to men. Uh, that, but that's what I wish for every year. I, what I really want is I want my son or one of my children to make me homemade wuffle jelly cakes. Wuffle jelly cakes exist only in the mind of the Mr. Magoo's version of Tiny Tim, but they are delicious. They are basically uh, raspberry shortbread cookies. So that's really what I'm looking for. And uh, I, it is really better to give than to receive, so that's really all I'm asking for. Well, we definitely need them to make those cookies for you, well, for sure. Turn into a situation like The Rock, where everywhere he went, people gave... Can I tell you who ate far more chocolate chip cookies than The Rock did? Me. Because he's got the one cheat day. This is back, you know, late 90s. And people were giving him dozens of cookies every day. You don't look like The Rock by eating dozens and dozens of cookies. But Mrs. Foley's baby boy, when everyone was gone, I'd see three to four dozen delicious home-baked chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, a, this is not an invite for everyone to make me raspberry shortbread cookies. Just my son, Huey, yeah. Well, definitely. And I hope you have a great holiday season. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy to have you on. I'm so happy to see you. You keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Right. <laughs> and Bye. thank you guys for joining me on this episode of The Hot Tag. We'll see you guys next time.